Bienvenidos. Welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. As always, it is so great to be here with you. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and feeling fabulous at the same time. Anyways, today we have one heck of a great recipe. We're making a Spanish salmon and chickpea skillet. Now, this is the kind of dish that's filled with so many Spanish flavors. It's very easy to make and it's going to fill your body with so much goodness. Folks, in my opinion, this is one of the best salmon dishes out there. Let's begin by grabbing a large fry pan, heating it with a medium heat and adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna add in 10 raw blanched almonds and three cloves of garlic. And we'll mix the garlic and almonds around with the olive oil. You wanna make sure you mix this around continuously, that way the ingredients don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After about three minutes and the almonds and the garlic have a light golden fried color to them, you don't want to brown them too much. I'm going to remove them from the pan, transferring them into a mortar and then setting it aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm going to add in half of an onion that I roughly diced and half of a red and green bell pepper that I finely chopped. and we'll mix the vegetables around. That way they're all coated in the olive oil and you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there about every minute or so. That way all the vegetables are evenly sauteed. After about five minutes and the onions are nice and translucent and the bell peppers lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 1.15 grams and we'll give it a quick mix. That way that paprika is evenly coating all the vegetables. Then I'm gonna add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 115 grams. For those of you that follow Spain on a Fork, you know the tomato sauce that I use. I make by finely grating tomatoes, but you can also use canned tomato sauce or even passata. And we'll give this a quick mix and simmer it for a couple minutes. While the tomato sauce is simmering, let's move back to the mortar that's got the fried almonds and garlic. I'm gonna pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. You'll find a link where you can get the saffron threads I'm using from Golden Saffron in the description box below. We'll also add in two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley, which is eight grams, and a pinch of sea salt. And using a pestle, I'm gonna pound down on the ingredients until we form a paste. All right, let's move back to the pan. That tomato sauce has been simmering for about four minutes, and as you can see, it's really thickened up. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna add in one cup of cooked chickpeas, which is 170 grams. Now the chickpeas that I'm using come from a jar, which is the same thing as the canned ones, and I did add them into a sieve and rinse them under some cold running water before adding them into the pan. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a gentle mix, that way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna add in three quarters of a cup of vegetable broth, which is 180 milliliters. The broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the iCard above and description box below. And we'll also add in our almond and garlic mixture. and we'll give this one final mix, that way everything's evenly distributed. While the chickpeas and the vegetables are simmering in the broth, let's get to the starf to show the salmon. I've got a filet of salmon here. This is 380 grams, which is about 14 ounces. I'm gonna cut the filet into squares that are one inch by one inch, which is two and a half centimeters by two and a half centimeters. and we'll season the pieces of salmon with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. After simmering the chickpeas and the vegetables for about 10 minutes, and you can see that the broth has reduced in half, I'm gonna add in the pieces of salmon and we'll mix them around, that way they're evenly distributed. and we'll place a lid on the pan and simmer it for another four to five minutes or until that salmon is perfectly cooked. 
After a total cooking time of four minutes on the salmon, I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan. And look how beautiful that turned out. And that salmon should be perfectly cooked. You don't wanna overcook it. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped parsley. Our Spanish salmon and chickpea skillet is done. You saw this easy to make, beautiful presentation, and like I told you earlier, that kind of dish, that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. All right, folks, here we go. That is so good. This salmon is beautifully cooked. It just melts in your mouth. And those chickpeas with all the vegetables and the spices, beautiful textures and flavors. But the real kicker in this dish is that thickener with the almonds and the garlic. It just takes it to the next level. You saw this very easy to make, done a little over 30 minutes like I told you in the beginning. One of the best salmon dishes out there. Real quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my newest patrons, Dark Matter, Catherine Deshays, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Karen Reynolds, and Melissa Thurman. Again, guys, thank you so much for becoming patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support the show so I can continue to release videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash the subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.